Hi Brad, my name is Michael Williams with Lee's. I'm uh, going to do a quick walkthrough of the 23 RSS with you. Uh, just so you, show you a few of the f features that it has. Uh, you do have an electric tongue jack here. Uh, two 20 pound LP tanks. They are on an automatic switch over regulator. So when one goes empty, it switches over to the other one. Um, you're looking at the front cap. One nice thing about these vintage cruisers is that it is a one piece fiberglass roof. There's no seams and seals like the rubber roofs. Uh, it is all one fiberglass piece, which is nice. Um, if you look in here, you'll see your pass through for storage. With the lights inside, those are your cranks for your jack and your slide out. Uh, if you ever got into solar, this is solar prepped, so solar ready here. Looking at a 16-foot uh, automatic awning. Uh, this one is nice because it is the tandem axle versus the single. Uh, you do have a couple 110s on the outside here. This is if you needed cable outside, where you can put a TV on the mount outside. Outdoor speakers, refrigerator vent. We're looking at LEDs underneath your awning, which is nice. And then as we go around the back here, you do see you have your nice LED lights on the back. Uh, prep for a backup camera if needed. If you look here, this is nice. You have a, a spray port. A little hose goes in there that you can spray stuff off with. This is your city water connection, water heater access, and then that's for cable and satellite if the uh, campground has it. You have four stabilizer jacks, two on the back, two on the front. Here's your little slide out here. Schwinn Tech design. Refrigerator vent, here's your 30 amp electrical. You do get a 25 foot cord that comes with that. And then this is a tank flush. Um, so when you get home from a trip, you'll just hook up your water to that and it shoots water through the tanks to kind of clean it out, which is very nice to have. Uh, you have the secure stance steps, which are really nice. These can be adjusted height wise. And then as we go inside, You'll see you do have a nice screen door here. Uh, right when you enter to the right, you'll see you have your command center. Uh, this is where you can check, you know, how full the tanks are, how much battery life you have. Um, your electric and gas water heater. You have your water pump here. And then you have, these are just lights. And then we have the awning and the little slide out, which you'll see right there that the sofa is in as you come in here you'll notice you do have your dinette to the back which this table folds down you can either take it out of here or it does make into a bed uh, where this makes a full rectangle bed you have your big window on the back you're looking at your radio some nice storage that goes all the way across to the back um, you do have a little hidden storage behind this compartment here that goes back in there, which is kind of cool. And this stuff is really nice. It cleans up easy. Um, doesn't get too dirty. Uh, your TV controls, which is on an adjustable mount to go around to the side or whichever way you want to go. Uh, like I said, here's your sofa with little storage here. Storage there. Uh, and this is a futon, so basically this just lifts up, folds down into a futon bed there. And then as we continue on, you have your counter storage here. You have a couple nice little drawers here. LEDs under the sink. Storage for a small trash can, what have you. A nice cutting board with a stainless steel sink which is always a plus lasts quite a bit longer than the plastic sinks a small oven three burner stove up top which is nice 
little backsplash, and then of course your microwave where you can cook uh, at least six pizza rolls in there. A nice size fridge for a smaller camper. Fridge, fridge and freezer combo. Uh, this is a gas electric fridge. So you would just leave it on auto and it'll be able to pick up if you're plugged in or if it's gonna run off propane if you're not plugged in. Uh, here's your thermostat for your heat. Uh, heat's gonna be floor, air's gonna be top. Here's your air conditioner. Uh, this is a 15K air conditioner, which is plenty for this size camper. A uh, nice shower with a retractable shower curtain, if you will, which is nice. Kind of slides back in there. And then this one's pretty cool to where this bathroom door opens up and actually connects so that your bathroom is essentially all one room connected to the bedroom so if you did have company out in the living room you guys could shut this off and have kind of a private uh, uh bathroom bedroom set up here um, but there's your vanity a little storage under that little medicine cabinet and of course your commode come around here we do have a mount for a tv in the bedroom you do have your nice queen bed that is walk you can walk around here uh, this is going to be your hanging clothes here. And then, of course, more storage. It goes all the way across up top. You'll see that there. A queen bed with reading lights. And then underneath, you'll see quite a bit of storage underneath here. Um, this has your spare tire underneath. So that's a nice spot for your spare as well. And then your fresh water tanks under there also. Uh, but you can see plenty of room to walk around the sides of the bed. And then, like I said, as we're going back out, just kind of give you another view of everything. Your sofa, futon bed, um, dinette in the back that folds down into a bed also. Command center and small kitchen. Um, but that's just kind of a quick run through video, Brad. If you have any questions, certainly ask my wife, Jessica, or myself. Uh, we'd be happy to answer. Um, but hopefully we'll get this video over to you pretty soon. Take care.